Hello, this is Nick Andre, your at-home instructor, welcoming you to another screencast. In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to submit your lab to my IT lab and to look over the submission report. To do this, I have this one lab that I'm finishing up. Before I submit this file to my lab assignment, I'm going to go up to File and choose Save. So I change whatever changes I made to this file will be kept permanently. Um, another tip I can give you is using Save As. When you use Save As, you can find out where exactly the file is located. By coming up to the address bar and clicking once, you can see it's in the E drive, CSIT 1390, in a folder called Lab Word Chapter 1. This is going to come important when we go to upload this file to My IT Lab. So now this allows me to know where exactly the file is saved, and then I can choose Save, and it's going to say, done or complete down here in the status bar. All right, now that the file is saved, I'm going to close out. By the way, if you did this and something pops up asking you would you like to save over top of it, just go ahead and click yes. Let me close out of that. And as you can see, I have my IT lab in the background. And now I'm going to click on the lab word chapter 1. Now you got to be careful. In this demonstration, I'm using lab chapter 1, and I've already signed in. You might have already had to re-log in, go to today's view, and make your way back to the work too. Now I'm greeted with a dialog box that says this is your final attempt. Upon completion, your grade will be recorded in your gradebook. Most of your My IT Labs, I will give you two attempts. Because you'll see in a minute, My IT Labs a little quirky. It's not perfect, but it's better than what we've had. So let's click on continue. I've already done this part in a previous screencast where I downloaded the source files. Now I worked on it, step two. My last part is to upload this. So let's click on Upload Completed File. And where it says File Name, let me click Browse. Now remember, I made a big point knowing where I saved that file at. So it was on my E drive, which is right here, in a folder called CSIT 1390 and another folder called Lab Word Chapter 1. And the name of that file was go underscore w01 underscore greater ir. Let's click on that once and click open. Now I'm going to click the upload button. And now it's telling me please wait while the file is being uploaded. So I'm going to wait patiently. When it's done uploading the file, I'll be greeted with a message that says your complete file has been successfully uploaded. Wonderful. In order for me to get this graded, I need to click on the Finish button in the upper right corner of this box. So let me click on that. And it's going to say, all right, we received it, we're grading it, the maximum points you can get out of this assignment is 100, but it's not going to tell me the grade. In order to find the grade, I must hit Return to Course Content. Here I am. I'm back to Week 2. I can hover over the Lab 1, Chapter 1. Notice it says Complete it now. I click on the triangle pointing down, and then I can either view grades or view submission. In this particular case, I'm going to click view submission because it's going to allow me to see what exactly I have wrong. So I'm going to let this submission box pop up, let it load the report in, and then in the upper part of this window, in a gray bar, there should be my grade. It's going to be out of 100 points. Like I said, it's going to take some time to load up. It all is dependent on your internet connection. But eventually the report should be established. And in the report you will see a list of the items down here, the instructions that you had to do, the steps. And then over in the right area is going to be the point values for each of those steps and how many points you have earned. So I'm waiting for this to pop up. It seems like I'm getting nowhere with it. So I'm going to close out of this box and do that again. I'm going to click on the triangle pointing down and click View Submissions. Now Submissions is plural because it's going to have two of them. There it goes. You can see over on the left side I have both submissions. One I submitted I got a 69. The second one I submitted I got a 92. What? A 92? I thought I'd get a 100. Well, let's see what's happening. So we see my grade 92%, but now I have three areas. The submit it file, that was the small, just the file just got them attaching to the lab. The summary report and the markup report. I like the markup report, so let me click on that. 
And when I do that, I see some green check marks letting me know, okay, you did that right, you did that right. And I'm going down through these. These are all those steps in the instructions. So I'm scrolling down. Aha, I see a little red X. If I hover over it, it says points obtained, one points, deducted three. So this was worth four points. I lost three out of the four points. Let me click on that to see what exactly I did wrong. And right here it is in the paragraph, that's 10, that starts with although. It's letting me know that I did not indent it a half inch. Oops, that's my own doing. Let me close out of that. Let me scroll down and I see another X. Now this one I knew I did wrong. I deliberately did this wrong because I want you to read what it says. Develop healthy ways to relieve bad stress. Let me click on that X. It's deducting one point. Do you see what they wanted me to type in? Develop healthy ways to relieve. Well, I didn't exactly type it the way they wanted. They wanted what I submitted as develop healthy ways to relieve bad stress. And what did I put in there? I missed the period. Oops, my mistake. That's the problem. When you do these little things, you illustrate it to my IT that you know how to add text, but they want it to be exact. It's sort of like an all or nothing approach. Remember, computers are digital, and that's all they understand, either a zero or a one. There's no leniency. This is why I gave you guys second chances to submit assignments. When you see this, just go back to that file, make the change, and then resubmit it. I know it's silly, but you know what? I'll take the silliness any day to have the lab graded instantly, and this way I can improve and study from it. Well, I see the last little X. Let me click on that. It's probably going to yell at me because I didn't set the paragraphs, or sorry, the margins. And as you can see, I left the margins out. They were supposed to be one inch, and I lose four points. So to wrap this up, I strongly recommend that when you submit a lab, you look through this. Remember, most of your labs, you will be allowed a second attempt. Learn from your mistakes, improve them, and resubmit. Now, another thing I'd like to show you is what they call live comments. In order to look at the live comments, it's going to be done through Microsoft Word. Now, not all programs in the Office package support live comments, so be careful. When I click on live comments, I clicked on the button that said open, and now I'm presented with my Word document. I'm going to scroll down, and then I'm going to see where exactly I went wrong. And here they are highlighting the comments, informing me you lost three points because you didn't do a first line indent. Oops. Here, I lost a point because it was a comma, not a period. And then down below, they didn't inform me that the other points that I lost was because of the paragraph markers. Hence, if I scroll up top, I get a summary report, and I see that they mentioned the margins were not set to one inch. All right, let me close out of that. I'm back to my IT lab. Let me close out of that. By the way, before I close out, just to let you know, you can print out your progress report or your summary report, so then you can go back and touch up what you need to. Let me close out of this. And here I am, back to it. What if you look at your grades from another computer and you don't have your flash drive with you, but you'd like to make those changes and upload them there? That's what this is all about. The submit it file, you can click on that. It'll ask you to either open or save. I'll click open. Microsoft Word should appear. So there's my file. Let me double click on this. So here comes Word. Let me enable this for editing. Now, it still says read only, right? Because I opened this upside a compressed folder. So let me go up the file. Let me choose save as. Let me change the location to this. So I'm going to go back to my backup drive. I'm going to go to 1390, lab word. Let me save this on top of that. Are you sure you want to replace it? Sure. Let me click OK because I want to make changes to it. They said I needed to fix this although, so I click on it once. I'm going to grab this box, slide it over. I'm going to remove this comma, replace it. Then I'm going to go up to page layout, 
choose margins and do a one to one to one. And just like that, I've made my changes. I can hit save. I'm going to close out of this. And then I can close out of this little folder that popped up. And to resubmit this, you can see I already ran out of my attempts. Two out of two. That's it. I can't do it anymore. But if you have one out of two, what you can do is close out of this, go back to opening up that lab by clicking on it. Instead of being greeted with this, you'll be greeted with this is your final attempt. Click continue and go back through uploading it and submitting it. So in this screencast, I demonstrated how to submit files to your My IT Lab, and then also how to look at your summary report after it's been graded.